there has been a freight train derailment that has resulted in a large explosion and a fire. And this has resulted in many of the residents here around this area being evacuated. This is a small town in Indiana. Authorities are saying they're still struggling to try to contain this blaze 12 hours after the accident. Now, witnesses have been posting photos and videos of the fire, which they say started on Sunday evening. And the train, which was carrying 89 loaded rail cars and nine empty rail cars, derailed around 7.20 local time. And this blaze has been ongoing. Look at the height of that fireball from this train derailment. So, as... Most of the time, we see when there's a train derailment with chemicals that catch fire, it continues to go to the next car that has it, and until they can get it put out, there's a threat that it can continue to keep going to the next the next uh, rail car and exploding and so on and so forth. But this time, they're saying that it was propane that was on fire, which is better than some other toxic chemicals that we've seen released during these type of events and derailments. But one of the first things I like to say is anyone downwind or in the path of this plume, make note, you know, if you've got this stuff heading your way, shut off the air conditioning and everything else. I always take precautions like that anytime there's any kind of chemical plume heading in our direction. So I want to put the word out and let it be known. This is what's gone down in Indiana. And that's inside of Gibson County. I'm going to leave a link. I'll continue to update with info as I come across it. It's been Dabu7. Peace.